Well, good morning. Finally take my face mask off at this microphone. It is such a joy to welcome you all here this morning. And well done those who have braved the great British weather to be here with us. And those of you who decided, no, I think I'd rather watch it online. Everything you need is in the service sheet. Clive, as always, we're playing excellently. And we even have some live singing for you. And Katie and Sarah are going to sing for us this morning. So welcome. Let us worship the God who knows you by name. And loves you. Hosanna to the son of David, the king of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna to the son of David, the king of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and also with you. Dear friends in Christ, during Lent we have been preparing by works of love and self-sacrifice for the celebration of our Lord's death and resurrection. Today we come together to begin this solemn celebration in union with the church throughout the world. Christ enters his own city to complete his work as our Savior, to suffer, to die, and to rise again. Let us go with him in faith and love so that united with him in his sufferings, we may share his risen life. God, our Savior, whose Son, Jesus Christ, entered Jerusalem as Messiah to suffer and to die, let these palms be for us signs of his victory and grant that we who bear them in his name may ever hail him as our king and follow him in the way that leads to eternal life, who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen.
Lord Jesus Christ. We confess we have failed you, as did your first disciples. We ask for your mercy and your help. When we take our ease, rather than watch with you, Lord, forgive us. Christ, have mercy. When we bestow a kiss of peace, yet nurse enmity in our hearts, Lord, forgive us. Christ, have mercy. When we strike at those who hurt us, rather than stretch out our hands to bless. Lord, forgive us. Christ, have mercy. When we deny that we know you for fear of the world and its scorn, Lord, forgive us. Christ, have mercy. May the God of love bring us back to himself, Forgive us our sins and assure us of his eternal love. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race sent your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh, and to suffer death upon the cross. Grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility, and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So please stand for our palm gospel. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When they were approaching Jerusalem at Bethphage and Bethany near the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately as you enter it, you will find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. Untie and bring it. If anybody says to you, why are you doing this? Just say this, the Lord needs it, and will send it back here immediately. They went away and found a colt tied near a door, outside in the street. As they were untying it, some of the bystanders said to them, Oi, what are you doing untying the colt? They told them what Jesus had said, and they allowed them to take it. Then they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks on it, and he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread leafy branches that they had cut in the fields. Then those who went ahead and those who followed were shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our ancestor David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Then he entered Jerusalem and went into the temple. And when he had looked around at everything, as it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. O oh Christ.
I'm not going to read the notices on the notice sheet, but I am going to urge you to take it home. There's lots to read, and I hope that there's something that you feel you can be part of in this holy week as we journey with Jesus to the cross and journey with Christians the world over, whether that be online or at home, um, wherever it might be. Something not mentioned, um, three things not mentioned in the notice sheet that I will mention, though, is that there are spare palm crosses as you leave church. They're on the, the little pedestal uh, stand by the light switch, by the door, after the hand sanitizer. So as you leave, hand sanitize, and then help yourself to as many palm crosses as you wish, in case you wish to give, um, have more than one at home, or you wish to give it to uh, someone uh, this Holy Week, or when you see them in the Easter season. So please, plenty of spare palm crosses there. Please do take some. And also to say to Paul and to Norma, they celebrate 60 years of marriage tomorrow. Paul, is that correct? correct. 60 years of marriage. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's still 24 hours to go. Paul keeps reminding me. I took a photograph of them the other day, and, uh, and that'll come in the, the parish news to, to give a little bit of uh, sharing that good news with others. But congratulations to you and to Norma, Paul. Well done, I say, well done. <laughs> and a congratulations from a distance to Roy and Joyce, who aren't with us this morning, but became grandparents on Friday to baby Max, and congratulations, obviously, to Nicola, Simon, and to Jack. Ordinarily, on Palm Sunday, we sit at this point in the service to hear the Passion Gospel. More often than not, with a group of readers huddled around the various microphones, taking on the voices of the characters in the gospel story. It's a risky story, but it couldn't quite squeeze into our risk assessment this morning. Perhaps, like as for me, this is a poignant moment in the church's year when, in hearing the story of the passion all at once, as it were, we are struck by the pace of events. The speed at which everything seems to happen. Jesus, King and potential Messiah on Sunday. Jesus, arrested, beaten and crucified by Friday. Struck perhaps too by the way in which Jesus is surrounded by so many and admired by so many on Palm Sunday. But by Friday has been betrayed denied and abandoned. And as often is the case with the biblical stories, perhaps provoked and challenged when hearing those words, and maybe even called up short, how would I have responded and reacted had I been there too? Today we're invited to listen to the Passion Gospel at home by going to the YouTube link for the pre-recorded service, The Journey to the Cross. And thank you to all who contributed to that. Or indeed by reading the Passion Gospel to yourself at home. Mark chapters 14 and 15. But whilst here in church, we are going to hear a reflection by a pastor from a Moravian church in Pennsylvania, which focuses in on the events of Palm Sunday and the different aspects of the Palm Gospel story, but which also connects them to the events of Holy Week and moments in our lives. I'll read it, leave space for reflection, after which Clive Sarah and Katie 
will lead us in Samuel Crossman's account of Holy Week in the hymn, My Song is Love Unknown. So then a litany for Holy Week by the Reverend Christine Sabania Johnson. Today, we have cheered you on as our champion and hailed you as our hero. Forgive us tomorrow when our enthusiasm wanes. Today, we have entrusted you to rescue us from our pitiful circumstances. Forgive us on Tuesday when we decide we can take care of ourselves. Today, we have made you the centerpiece of our very existence. Forgive us on Wednesday when we forget to remember who you are. Today we have called out to you loudly by name. Forgive us on Thursday when we pretend that we've never met you. Today we have stared at you with the starstruck eyes of fans and groupies. Forgive us on Friday when we avert our eyes because it's too painful to see you on the cross. Today, we have expressed our unsuppressed hopefulness in the future that you have in store for us. Forgive us on Saturday when we believe that all is lost. Today, we have been boldly certain of the earthly ways you will redeem us. Restore us on Sunday when we are startled and awed by your rising. Amen.
Thank you, Angela, Clive, Katie, and Sarah. Let us stand, if we're able, as we say together and profess our faith. Though he was divine, he did not cling to equality with God, but made himself nothing, taking the form of a slave. He was born in human likeness. He humbled himself and was obedient to death, even the death of the cross. Therefore God has raised him on high and given him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow and every voice proclaim, that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Please be seated if you're able as Linda comes to lead our intercession. Let us pray. And as we pray, please use the music to focus your own thoughts on your own private prayers. Lord, we pray the Lord Jesus, who entered Jerusalem on Palm Sunday to cleanse and save God's people, will today find us ready to follow him. Lord, as you gave us an example of humble service, so guide Elizabeth, our Queen, and all leaders to serve their people with devotion and bring peace in between all the nations. As you sacrificed your life for the world's salvation, so give strength and patience to those who make great sacrifices in their care of others. Lord, as you cleanse the temple, <clears throat> so cleanse the church today of disunity, hypocrisy, and complacency. Lord, as you taught the people the truth about God, teach us your ways, reveal your love, and send us out with your spirit to serve others.
Lord, be close to those who suffer and remember especially those close to our own hearts. Grant them healing, strength and encouragement. Remembering those who have died, especially those known to us, grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Gathering up all our prayers, we pray to the Lord. Holy, holy God, God, holy and, and strong, strong, holy and, and immortal, immortal, have, have mercy, mercy upon, upon us. us. Amen. Once we were far off, but now in union with Christ Jesus, we have been brought near through the shedding of Christ's blood, for he is our peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Thank you. Please do look around. Give a smile. They haven't stopped us waving yet. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. And now we give you thanks because for our salvation, he was obedient even to death on the cross. The tree of shame was made the tree of glory. And where life was lost, there life has been restored. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. 
do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it. In remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross... His perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world. Rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. And looking for his coming in glory. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. We bring before you this bread and this cup. And we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we, in the company of all the saints, may praise and glory you forever. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and their glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed.
Lord Jesus Christ. You humbled yourself in taking the form of a servant and in obedience died on the cross for our salvation. Give us the mind to follow you and to proclaim you as Lord and King to the glory of God the Father. Amen. We say together, faithful God, May we who share this banquet glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, our salvation, life, and hope, who reigns as Lord now and forever. Amen. May you find in the crucified one the forgiveness of sins, the renewing power of love and the promise of life eternal and the blessing of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and those whom you love, both living and departed this day and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.